everyone. A very good afternoon. I, I would request all the speakers to please switch on their videos if that's possible. Hi, Kushbu. Hi, Mansi. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, guys. What's the audible? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, but I think your uh, voice is lagging a little bit. Yeah. Now is it fine? Slightly better. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, hi. Yeah. Hi, Lakshmi. Hi, Monty. How are you? Good, good. Um, so a very warm welcome to everyone, uh, all my inspiring seniors, uh, all the people who are joining us live on Facebook, on YouTube, and everyone who's here in the Zoom room. Uh, I would quickly just like to introduce all of you. And um, we have Kushbu Baird here with us, who is known as an actor and a writer with TVF, especially. Uh, we have Lakshmi Saran, who we've seen in Patal Lok, in Milestone, and Finding Anamika. Uh, we have Vivan Parashar, who uh, recently we saw in Mumbai Saga opposite John Abraham, Imran Hashmi, and earlier in The Little Godfather. And uh, we're also expecting Srishti Srivastav to join in soon, uh, who we've seen in uh, Gulabo Sitabo, in Gali Boy, in the Girlie Appa series, and in theater productions like Chuhal and Shikhandi. So um, a very warm welcome once again to all of you. I think Srishti's here. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Can I? There are more people on this call. I didn't know there are more people on this call. There are like 48 people. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> um, just a second. I'm trying to pin you, Srishti. Okay, found it. Sorry. Awesome. Hi, Srishti. I was just introducing everyone. <laughs> Hi, I heard mine. I'm very happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amazing. I'm safe. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll just start with the questions that I have. And we have a specific time that is allotted for questions from the audience. So if anyone who's watching has anything to ask the speakers, feel free to put it in the chat box uh, or in the comment section on the respective platforms that you're looking at. Okay, Lakshmi, I want to start with you. Um, oh we, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've uh, worked on projects like um, Pata Lok and you've done a lot of theater yeah. as well. So I want to know how much of the training and the techniques that you learned at Drama School of Mumbai do you directly apply to your process uh, when you approach a character or a script, for instance? Uh, I think. Uh, for, uh, uh, Pata Lok uh, is not the best example because it was just like a couple of days of shoot. So that was just uh, really sensing what, what the team is like, what do they want, uh, talking to the director. Uh, that's the first thing I do. I go and have a word with the director. Uh, I think that's, that's the person you need to be in contact with and in, in connect with. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, that was just that bit. But uh, apart from that, other projects like Milestone and all, I, I think... Uh, I think part of the training was uh, was very essential in terms of understanding the approach, or say, uh, uh, say finding a discipline in terms of how do you get about your work, how do you going to plan this, and how do you going to interact with others. So what drama school does really well is that you learn how to work with people who think differently than you. Uh, you know, when we enter, our whole batch me, sab apne alag alag jagahon se aate hain, alag alag soch hoti hai. तो एक समझ बनानी पड़ती है दूसरे की भी और फिर उसके काम की तो उस तरीके से आई थिंक इट दैट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई वुड से दैट हेल्प्स मी इन एनी प्रोजेक्ट इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द पर्सन इन देयर वे ऑफ वर्किंग आई नो वी फोकस अ लॉट ऑन द एनसेंबल एंड द कम्युनिटी एंड द नेटवर्क सो लुक्स लाइक दैट्स वेरी हैंडी Okay, uh, so now that we're talking about communities, Srishti, I want to ask you. Um, so the faculty at Drama School of Mumbai, it comprises working professionals. We have instructors who come in who are actively working in the industry. 
And since you've extensively worked with Foyze Jalali, especially uh, on multiple projects, I want to understand how the the drama school network or the drama school uh, community enabled or aided your career. What kind of support or guidance um, do you think helped you? Um, okay, so see, you know, whenever we are starting out as actors, I mean, whoever I meet who's new, who's just starting to understand what the industry is like, what to do, ki audition ke numbers de do, kaha jana hai, ye karna hai, wo karna hai. Uh, I always tell them I went to drama school and I met these bunch of people because of whom I got so much work. <clears throat> so when uh, I know when drama school got over, I immediately started working with Foyze because and I auditioned for her play uh, and uh, Foyze's play kept happening while I was auditioning for other stuff. So what happens is that when you work for someone else, the people who work in that, they are very experienced. Hai, wo log bahut hote hai. So they already have numbers of people whom you want to audition for. So it's like that, kind of. And uh, so Foyze happened and I remember when I had auditioned for Gulabo Sittabo and I got the part and we were just chilling one day with the AD and his name was Tushar and he told me, you know, I had come and seen Shikhandi. And I said, oh, okay, okay. And then he said, I love the show and I love you in it and I wanted you to do Good Dose part. Uh, and I was... I was like, what? Yeah, he said, yeah. And because the other team, they were not convinced initially because they didn't know me, etc. But he'd seen me perform. And uh, that's how I landed good though, actually. He really pushed for me. So, uh, hey, it's a big circle. And in fact, our drama school is growing batch by batch, batch by batch. Now, other than the teachers, you also have the students, faculty who, who are working with uh, with. Uh, you know, professionals who've been there for a very, very long time. For example, I started working with Manav. And now I know there are so many people from drama school who have just joined Manav's uh, group, who have joined Aranya. So, uh, it's very helpful. Hota hai, yaar. I, and because all these people, Pooja, Saroop, Foyze, Tushar, they are so experienced and they have been in, do, they've been doing theatre for so long. We are very lucky to have them in our school. We are, I mean, mujhe lagta hai, jo bhi bachche hai, it's amazing because once you get out, you can immediately go out and audition for them. So, yeah, it's very, very, very helpful. So, I would also ask uh, Khushbu and Lakshmi to share because, um, Lakshmi, you worked with Lyra and Khushbu and Srishti, I know that you've also collaborated uh, multiple times. So, how is the experience working with um, other DSM students, not just teachers? So, I mean, when you come in contact with a drama school alumni or, or a drama school faculty who has already taught you, what happens is you start with a comfort level. Like, suppose if I meet someone, uh, you know, a new actor, maybe you have to start from minus, minus one or minus two. For that matter of fact, because I knew Shrishti already. So there was already a kind of uh, bonding that we shared. We came from the same drama school. We had the same kind of training. We had the same kind of work ethics. So you know where you're starting from. We, as actors, we are always there for each other, which not necessarily, you know, you don't find that in other actors like uh, Shrishti. She and I, I remember we were, we believe in rehearsals. So before going for the take, we'll be like, we'll do n number of rehearsals and not even, not, not even a single time we would be like, yeah, bas, band karte hai. Bas ho gaya, a warning. We would be going on rehearsing till the final time the director, director says action. So this is what happens when you have this community and these people, there is this comfort level that you share with the person and uh, the fact that you can be open like uh, if there's a feedback that someone wants to give Lakshvir or Vivar would give me some feedback and you know like let's try and do it like this we would be like on for it because that's what we are taught, taught in drama school right yes let's so I think uh, that's how again the training comes into the picture yeah um, I think uh, very simply uh, you're friends with those people. I mean, and if not close, I mean, not necessarily close friends, but you, you've you heard of them, you've met them before. And whenever you have a familiar face on set, it's uh, or in a play, in a rehearsal space, it's always nice because there'll be things that are not related to just your work. There'll be doubts and 
and confusion about things which is other than the shoot or other than the play or other than the script uh and uh, these are the people you can turn towards uh you can trust them because drama school me it's not just theater it's also about how you have personally gone through uh, the whole year and you shared a lot of your personal feelings with other people as well people you're going to make uh, work with right so that's uh, that's essential that's key and that really helps that vulnerability that we keep talking about pura saal in training um yeah. so vivan now i i um i have a question for you so given your background um i believe it would have been easy and accessible to learn on the job or directly go into the industry and learn uh, the nitty gritties of it so what drove you to get a formal training or a formal um join a formal drama school and get a structured sort of education in drama firstly i i don't really believe uh with this idea of learning on the job because you get the job because you're supposed to know it uh you know so i i feel that i don't want anybody to come and teach me uh ki acting aise karte hai waise karte hai when he's paying me for it i mean it's not ethically right on my part to do that uh and before i went to drama school i did a lot of television i did a lot of episodics i did a lot of tv commercials but i did not know what i was doing uh you know there was just this inherent kind of uh, confidence of performing that came from school that that the directors would sometimes see and they would pick me for that but then after that you know things like layers uh, or things like getting into the character i did not know what this means i just these were just vague terms uh i want to do this job uh, i don't want any regrets in the future that i did not in for it or i did not you know learn what i'm supposed to do uh so i i decided that i want to go to drama school for a year i want to know what i am doing or what i'm getting into not that i'm saying i know today what i'm doing uh but at least i have an idea and there's a basic form of training uh that that i can always go back on whenever i get stuck you know like during mumbai saga i got stuck uh when preparing for the role so many times because the role was different from me and there was no workshop nothing you just turn up on set and you start performing uh and you know over that time is money because in in 6 8 hours uh, you know the actors the big big stars you're working with they have their own dates nobody really has time to sit and and rehearse and make you do it again and again uh so for those kind of things uh, to build your temperament and to understand what you're doing i think it's essential to to go and train somewhere uh, especially for for one year at least i think is very important so uh, the same question that i asked lakshvi is there any specific technique is there any thing very specific that you directly apply from what you learned at drama school when you're approaching or when you were stuck like you said uh so yeah i would like to jump in on this like what training gives you a chance to do mistakes like when you're on your job you can't afford to do a mistake because there is there are a lot of things at stake will you get the job again or not you know will you uh, there are a lot of things at stake so uh, will will their work be coming next in drama schools you know you can take your own risk like for example i very much remember uh, there was this tml okay for everybody who don't know what a tml is it's a theater making lab every saturday or in our batch every monday we were supposed to perform a piece that we had <laughs> created from the scratch like story devising everything had to be done by ourselves and we had to present it to the fac- faculty uh, weekly so there was this particular tml that uh, we were showcasing and uh, we had rehearsed a lot like we were fixing the moments uh, and every uh, uh, sorry you want to ask something okay sorry okay uh, so yeah uh, we were you know we, uh, so other tml was going on and i remember jehan uh, he just stopped our tml right in between and we were like what happened and he was like you know this is not the professional attitude you bring on stage none of you guys remember your lines you cannot do this and that time i felt really bad i was like oh my god ye main kahan aa gayi but that one small training that jehan gave us to be you know be professional be with your lines come ready to work you can't be sloppy when you're working these are small small things that you learn from drama school and you take your and you take it to a stage rehearsal or a set that's where training comes into being that you know you can't just afford to make any mistake when you're on set but at drama school 
make as many mistakes as you want but learn from it yeah since you mentioned tmls i want to ask um since this course is not just an acting course it's acting and theater making and it's very exploratory in nature you keep writing reflections every two weeks you keep asking yourself questions and this and that and noting down everything and you do that through various tools it's not just acting it's sound and design and light and since kushbu you worked extensively and made a mark as an as a writer as well uh, i want to know how that how did the training hone that aspect did you always uh, want to be a writer or it just happened maybe a side effect of tmls actually it was quite a side effect of tmls only i remember i i always used to write poems when i was like in 9th or 10th class but i never took it seriously and then uh, i remember there was this one tml that i did uh, i think all of you guys must have done that tml uh, vivansh drishti and lakshmi where we are supposed to uh, become this one particular character from the street of our drama school like uh, the character study so uh, that was the first time that we went solo like uh, you know everything to do that tml was on otherwise you're collaborating with people you're working with people so that time was the first time that i went solo for the piece and i actually wrote something down and then one of my batchmates her name is shruti sundar she was like actually tere piece ki writing bahut achhi thi अच्छा मैंने राइटिंग की है आई डिट इवन नो दैट आई हैड रिटन बट आई डिड लाइक यू नो आई डिड चॉक आउट पॉइंट्स दैट यू नो दिस इज व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल बट आई डिड राइट इट बट मे बी द वे आई क्रिएटेड अ स्ट्रक्चर एंड एवरीथिंग समवन रियली लाइक इट देन आई वाज लाइक यू नो व्हाट आई माइट रियली हैव अ नैक फॉर इट एंड देन इन ऑफ माय फाइनल प्रोडक्शन सो वी आर सपोज्ड टू डू अ फाइनल प्रोडक्शन वेयर एवरीवन लीड्स अ पर्टिकुलर पीस so uh, my piece was state versus thapa so i had written that piece like obviously my team members devised it but they used to devise a scene but how the uh, you know the play will flow like it, this in this scene we have to achieve this so guys do something so that is also a form of writing and yes professionally i learned it after leaving drama school but the germs of it was laid in the drama school of writing and uh, i would like to say this point that you know what you learn in the class like uh, tushar pandey had taught us seven sounds seven sounds is basically a technique where it is you know step 1 step 2 step 3 if you guys join the drama school you'll get to know it so uh, basically that that is something of how you build a scene you can use it in acting as well but i use it in writing as well that you know scene building a particular scene should have a graph it should not it should it cannot go from 1 to 7 directly it should go from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and that's like you know you are using those techniques for acting but it also applies while writing as well so nothing is really just for acting or for writing or for direction it's it's a collab it's a wholesome process as such yeah thank you for sharing that um can i can i add something of course You know when you're in drama school and this happened with me you don't know what you're doing honestly ek saal aapka training chal raha hai aap animal kar rahe ho aap voice kar rahe ho aap kalari kar rahe ho aapki body dukh rahi hai aapko chakkar aa raha hai pani chahiye kuch samajh mein nahi aata hai aapko hazar techniques se expose kar diya jata hai uh, and because also i had no idea about uh, performance nothing so it was very new to me Okay, for example, there's this boy. His name is Abhinav, uh, <clears throat> and he he was a very different kind of actor. I was a very body actor. Okay, so I didn't understand text. Uh, he didn't understand body. So you're constantly trying to figure out what the hell is going on, and this may happen even one year after drama school, even two years after drama school, even when you're on set, you're just. फिर एक दिन strike होता है अच्छा animal work आपने इसलिए किया ताकि मैं इस कैरेक्टर में शायद यूज कर सकूं, यू नो सो द ट्रेनिंग यू विल नेवर आई लाइक हाउ खुशबू सेड कि आप हर चीज के लिए यूज कर सकते हो लाइटिंग राइटिंग एक्टिंग सबके लिए बट उसको टाइम लगेगा समझने में क्योंकि एक साल तक आप मेरे तो सर के ऊपर से गया था ऑनेस्टली और मैंने बहुत मेहनत की आई हैव रियली वर्क हार्ड इन स्कूल बट इट ऑलवेज वेंट अब माई हेड टिल लाइक आई डिड अ शो ऑफ शिखंडी एट पृथ्वी एन आई लाइक ओ मैन ड्यूरिंग द शो आई रियलाइज why we were doing this in class so it it's a it's a long process that's all i wanted to add okay thanks <laughs> well, that's very important like 
एवरी टाइम आई मीट सम वन सब यही कहते हैं कि बाद में चमकता एकदम से कि क्या था क्यों था एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट um and i think that's why during the process everyone's like surrender karo surrender karo abhi nahi samajh aayega bas kar lo and then you um get in so shashi i also want to ask you you worked with mr bachchan and uh, he's <laughs> and uh, he's known um of course for his acting but he has a reputation for punctuality and for discipline and work ethic so yeah. these are also things that have been instilled in us during our time yeah. at drama school so i want to ask everyone in fact what are some of the qualitative ethics that you carry into your work and your career and how has that helped you um in your professional journey after school we starting खुशबू स्टार्ट बिकॉज तू अच्छा वो बोलती है फिर मैं उसमें ऐड कर दूंगी थैंक्स यार शिष्टि सो बेसिकली डे वन ऑफ ड्रामा स्कूल जेहान टोल्ड अस दिस लाइन लीव योर शिट एंड योर शूज आउटसाइड द डोर that was his first line and that's what i do if i'm going for a stage rehearsal or a set i leave my shit <laughs> behind like no it's i am here to work and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to be ready with my lines i'm going to be uh, stage 4 of an actor uh, the drama school people would know what level 4 means i'm going to be at that level and uh, you know i'm going to be ready to work because i'm not here to it, see the thing is i read somewhere if you want to be famous be a reality star but i chose to be an actor so you know i'm here to work and just put everything into the work so that's the first sentence has always the first day that i was taught in drama school is what i continue to do till this day even after 4 years of drama school yeah to add kar sakti hai shrishti vivan lakshmi you can also jump in yeah i'm just waiting for shrishti to add but okay <laughs> shrishti shrishti thank you uh i think the the act of doing is what i learned at drama school was uh i know me and and a lot of my friends were in the same field hum bahut sochte hain hum bahut kamal sochte hain ghar pe baithe baithe aur bahut amazing ideas aate hain jo share hote hain aur fir kuch nahi hota hai uh how to actualize those things how to really get on it and uh, and fail and figure out and make a mistake and 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 really uh really do something you know even if it's spending it down on the paper if you're making a play and if you've made it then what's the next step sharing it with someone then you bring that person on board then you collaborate then you make it this process of doing things this need of of actualizing stuff that's what i learned at drama school before that i was a very good thinker but now i am whatever i'm thinking a part of it i'm able to execute so that's it one i think uh, honestly it's uh, working with a purpose i think in drama school you know when we were there there was so many exercises that we would do every single day uh, that the mind would start getting exhausted you know by september october i was like yaar bhai matlab thoda to chutti de do yaar thoda aaram de do har subah train se jana wahan pe fir 12 ghante 14 ghante ek to physical class hoti thi ki you know almost usme uh, split switch karte the hum log try karte the so after point of time uh, you know you don't know why you are doing what you are doing uh, so i think what really helped me during that point of time is i would go into every class ki you know today i'm going into physical uh, what is the purpose behind that today i'm going into uh, a text class what is my purpose what do i want to get out of it like today i want to try to understand on how to incorporate the inner monologue again again with how to incorporate inner monologue uh, so you know i think having a purpose for every single thing has really helped me now because uh, even before an audition i try to have a purpose uh, behind the audition like the five w's and the thought behind the lines and all those things you know uh, so if you have a purpose i think uh, the acting job becomes far more fun and it becomes a little bit performing uh, in in a way that you know just just seeing this and going into it straight away i think that's the difference between a trained actor and an untrained actor as a trained actor always has a thought process behind what he or she is doing uh, so drama school helped me develop uh, that kind of thought process i think trishti <laughs> no they covered everything <laughs> but i just want to say like for for me it was it is uh, if i'm on a set if i'm going uh, for rehearsal 
i am ready with whatever work i had to do be ready with your homework very very important i feel which helped me a lot in gulabo sitabo that's why i feel like oh, bahut helpful hai ki taiyar raho kyunki aapke aaju baaju bhi log bahut taiyar hote hain one and be on time etc all that is there i just one thing that i made the mistake of was out of drama school you know we go and we watch plays and we watch uh, films and then we always look at them like this ye thoda na to judgment i think we should uh, be aware of of course criticism and appreciation are in their pe- but we should always i feel understand where everyone else is coming from तो थोड़ा सा हम लोग ड्रामा स्कूल से निकल के ऑटोमेटिकली पंख आ जाते हैं कि एक्टिंग कर लिया हमने दुनिया की सारी सीख ली कि या कुछ नहीं होता है जीवन में सो जस्ट नॉट टू बी जजमेंटल एंड या ऑलवेज ऑलवेज बी रेडी फॉर योर वर्क वट एवर यूर गोइंग फॉर दैट्स इट ऑल्सो so this was specifically for work ethic but do you have any particular experience that has stayed with you um like khushboo mentioned one particular tml that that is still etched in her memory something that that helps you anchor um yourself when you go out into the world into the professional industry world yeah so i i kind of have one uh, okay first of all is it okay if i speak in english i mean there are a lot of people who switch to hindi in case someone is not being able to comprehend them there are like a lot of people so i think should i shall say the answer in hindi in case someone is okay uh, so there was a uh, tml tha jahan pe hame uh, urdu bhasha mein ek scene karne ko bola tha aur main aur mere ek dsm ke teammate the kostav sinha naam ke तो हमने वो टी एम एल बनाया एंड वी डिड एट एट माई हाउस करते रहते उसे बार बार और हमें ऐसा लगता था कि हमने ऐसा पीस बनाया कि मतलब जिहान बहन सब खड़े हुए ताली मारने वाले हमारे लिए कि हमने इतना कमाल का काम किया और हम उसी कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ में ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ उस टी एम एल में गए और हमारा परफॉर्मेंस ऐसा ओनली टाइम इजन टू मी इन दर इंटायर ईयर हमारा परफॉर्मेंस बीच में रोक दिया गया और हमें ये कहा गया कि हमारा बहुत ही खराब है हमें कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा है तुम परफॉर्म करो ही मत एंड इट्स द ओनली टाइम इट है और मैं पूरी ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस में अंदर गया था तो मुझे बहुत बुरा लगा आई वाज फीलिंग कि यार यू नो आई वाज आई वाज कम्प्लीटली रॉक बॉटम कॉस्टो पर मैं दोनों बट यू नो लेटर ऑन मुझे ये सीख मिली कि वेन एवर यू वर्क डोंट मेक इट सेल्फ इंटेलिजेंट हमेशा ये सोचो कि दूसरे जो होती है ना आउटसाइड आए दूसरे इसे देखकर क्या बोलेंगे या तो दूसरों के लिए ये समझ सम, समझ आ रही है उन लोगों की नहीं आ रही है और वो आफ्टर दैट इट्स हेल्प मी थ्रू आउट माय लाइफ टुडे अगर मैं कॉर्डिशन भी प्रिपेयर करता हूँ मुझे लग रहा है कि यार ये तो बहुत अच्छा जा रहा है पर फिर मैं सोचता हूँ कि इज इट वॉट द कास्टिंग डायरेक्टर वॉन्ट्स और इज इट वॉट डायरेक्टर वॉन्ट्स इज इट वॉट दस्ट मी दैट वॉज अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट लेसन आई थिंक फॉर मी बिकॉज अभी ऐसा होता है कि आप सीधा सीन ऑडिशन में परफॉर्म करते हो या सीट पर जाके परफॉर्म करते हो एंड देन उस टाइम में वो लोग डिसाइड करते हैं कि ये परफॉर्म करने लायक है या नहीं तो वो जो एक है कि सेल्फ इंटेलिजेंट नहीं होना मेरे लिए वो बहुत बड़ी सीख थी ड्रामा स्कूल में Yeah. um what we for sorry for the last question i forgot to add this it's so important uh, as an actor what we learned in drama school every day in the morning we used to whatever at 7 8 we used to reach school we had a physical and vocal riyaz every day and that i have kept till today uh, it is extremely essential aap kuch mat karo agar aap ye bhi karoge to aapki body hamesha aware rehti hai aap rehearsal mein ho ya aap shoot pe ho if you are physically aware you don't have to build muscles but if you are physically aware and if you are vocally open it it it's really magical yeah sorry i really forgot this point it's very essential guys yeah okay bye um <laughs> uh, i can share a breakthrough which i feel is is quite relevant to the question you asked um shuruaat mein mere jab hamara saal shuru hua tha to mera ek batch mate uh, hai tha jo bhi uh, arjun ayer uh and uh, arjun and i in the initial month uh, we hardly spoke to each other matlab uh, na hum ek dusre se zyada baat karte the interact karte the agar group mein bhi same group mein hum aa gaye tab bhi kami share karte the aur distance maintain karke rakhte the jo bhi uski wajah kahi thi uh, ya shayad ek bhi nahi thi jo bhi tha but that was the case uh, and somewhere in the middle uh, something happened because we were forced into a 
एन एक्सरसाइज में दो लोगों को साथ में काम करना है हम दोनों को साथ में काम करना था uh, कुछ इंटरेक्शन हुई मैंने कुछ सजेशन दिया उसने सुना उसने सजेशन दिया मैंने सुना एंड थिंग्स वर्क टू पॉइंट वेन वी रियलाइज की देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी इवन इन दर्स्ट ऑफ दिनहरियो देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी की दो लोग बात कर सकते हैं और साथ में काम कर सकते हैं कट टू एंड ऑफ द ईयर Arjun had written something. Uh, end of the end, uh, DSM for people who are listening. हम सबको मौका मिलता है कुछ अपना बनाने का, अपना सोचने का और उसको from scratch to uh, at, till the end of uh, execution पूरा एक नाटक चाहे वो पंद्रह मिनट का हो बीस मिनट का हो बनाने का मौका मिलता है. तो Arjun ने कुछ लिखा था. Arjun out of a batch of say I think fourteen came to me uh, to collaborate with, which was really surprising and. Uh, i was very happy that that happened and we did that and uh, the result of which was he acted and i directed i was a person who came into drama school thinking i'm an actor and i want to do acting found a director in myself arjun was a person who was th- who was mostly a thinker uh, baat achhi karta tha likhta acha tha uh, ended up with one of the most strongest acting performances of the year uh, so i think that's that's drama school Uh, ये बहुत खूबसूरत बात हुई थी और आज भी मैं और अर्जुन साथ में काम करते हैं कुछ भी मैं बना रहा हूँ या वो बना रहा है तो हम सबसे पहले एक दूसरे को फोन करते हैं और शेयर करते हैं इट्स अ रिलेशनशिप दैट ड्रामा स्कूल इज गिफ्टेड मी मतलब ये आई फील इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट एनीथिंग एल्स खुशबू After Kushbu, we'll open it up to the audience and I already see a lot of questions in the chat so we'll take those up but before that yeah mm, I think I've already said uh so i'll share another moment so there was this tml we were doing it was me abhishek chauhan and prasant perera from my batch and uh, okay so jo pehla tml humne kiya tha to scene kuch aisa tha ki uh, uh i was abhishek's wife and abhishek was cheating on prasant aisa kuch tha okay and uh, then main aa jati hu and then wahan se comedy start hoti hai ठीक है समथिंग वेरी ब्यूटीफुल थिंग दैट डीपल टोल्ड व्हाई डोंट यू रिवर्स इट कि तुम अलग करके देखो एंड सी इम्पैक्ट क्या पड़ता है ऑडियंस पे सिंपल थिंग दैट डीपल वाज हु वाज अ फैकल्टी ही जस्ट वांटेड टू टेल कि हमको हमेशा एक तरीके से देखना सिखाया है हम कभी अपने हाथ पलट के नहीं देखते हैं सो so, अगर तुम वो करने लगोगे तो तुम कितनी बड़ी डिफरेंस ला सकते हो सोसाइटी में एज एन आर्टिस्ट वो बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है सो दैट्स वेर यू नो कुछ चीजें खुली दिमाग में कि यू नो आई एम आई कैन यूज दिस फॉर्म ऑफ आर्ट टू टेल स्टोरीज एंड ब्रिंग अ चेंज एंड दैट स्टार्टेड एट द ड्रामा स्कूल सो दिस इज अनादर मोमेंट दैट आई विल ऑलवेज रिमेंबर because yahan se kuch cheeze badli thi as a storyteller yeah yes yeah a uh, great perspective on perspective uh okay uh, so there is uh, there are a few questions in the chat box i'll um so someone is asking what if what if someone is very under confident and i understand that the process is about knowing yourself so how does how does training help with confidence or with energy and charisma and and the non tangible things that we see as a performer uh can i can i say something on this um you know when uh, i was in school and uh, i was a very um what do you say i was a nerd so i would be there on time before time i would do 100 surya namaskars so my body is fully ready i would stay back after school for all, so i was a very hard working student uh gadha mazduri basically uh or there was a tml that we had where we had to pick up any one character uh, we were given monologues basically and we had to perform and uh, i remember i worked on it day and night this is uh, helena from it's a night's dream i still remember this so well so uh, <clears throat> i worked day and night literally ghar aake wapas 4 baje uth ke wapas like school ke exam hote the us type ki maine mehnat ki thi is pe aur um, bas kar rahi hu and uh, i remember i went uh, i showed up on stage and everyone sitting in front and i freeze i say the lines but they are nothing they're just words falling out of my mouth i'm forcing a tear out of my eyes 
this was my understanding of performance so my confidence level was in minus in drama school because there were people around me who were very 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 good and i have this problem of constant comparison so there was a roshan matthew there was nikhil uh, mudli there was himani pand niketan sharma just name it everyone was in my batch and i remember this when it happened and i knew it was fail it was a fail and i went back and i asked roshan how was it and he looked at me he said it was terrible and uh, i didn't know what the what the fuck to do <laughs> you know so after uh, i was crying and jehan sat with me and uh, we had this conversation and jehan is like sushti what is it you know you work so hard but whenever you go on stage it doesn't work uh, and this was my constant struggle till our final production till dragon happened even then i don't think i cracked it i only cracked later maybe 2 years later uh so i just want to say that i if if you are under confident just like mansi also said just surrender ek din phootega but tab tak aapko bahut mehnat bahut hi mujhe bahut mehnat lagi thi so i remember crying to jehan and he's like you know you'll remember this day and you'll tell me later you'll talk to me about this i still work on that monologue and <clears throat> couple of days ago i messaged jehan i said jehan you know i did this i did her, and he's like you know it's going to mean different things to you blah blah whatever but uh, yeah it takes its time so you will have to surrender and you will have to go through the process of constant like uh, criticism and confusion and under confidence whatever so but ek din fatega so stress nahi just adding to what srishti said i'll just take a, a minute to just explain hi hi <laughs> hi guys <laughs> Hmm. Okay, very important point. I mean, Srishti has brought up a very important point because, see, there is a uh, no quick fix to things. So when you learn things, you, it requires a lot of practice. So there is an impression that क्या चाहे हम drama school से training खत्म करेंगे हमें सब कुछ आ जाएगा. Honestly, at one point of time, I had this kind of an impression. I'm also a student of drama school, uh, from Lakshmi's batch, and uh, uh, there was a time uh, during my training, I wasn't. I was working in Delhi as a as a freelance actor, and then I was. I, I used to think क्या मैं कोई ट्रेनिंग करूंगी तो उसके बाद मुझे सब कुछ आ जाएगा एंड आई बी एबल टू परफॉर्म इन फिल्म्स एंड थिएटर एंड ये नो ऐसे नहीं होता है दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूअस प्रोसेस इट कीप्स कमिंग टू यू सो यू नीड टू कीप practicing your art form the skills that you've learned at the school and you may never know when it's going to come to you like sushri mentioned when she was doing a play she was doing gulab us tabo and then she realized acha ye training jo maine wahan pe seekhi thi ye skill jo maine wahan seekhi thi it's helping me now right so those are the things so i am like i'm st- i'm working at dsm right now but i'm also an actor and performer there are things that i i can recall from my practice and i'm using it i'm using it now as well so it's not that something ke aapne abhi kiya aur aapko sare solutions abhi mil jayenge it's a continuous process so and what we like we've been talking about riyas a lot so it's a continuous riyas ek when you when you join a school you enter into a kind of discipline and we have to maintain that discipline even when we graduate from the school just like singers do just like dancers do they have a continuous riyas process so actors also need to build that riyas and you keep doing it you keep performing it you keep practicing it and those things will start making sense to you more and more the more you do it the more you keep performing so aisa bhi ho sakta hai ki that aapne abhi 4 saal pehle seekha ho school mein and now it's making sense to you and now you're able to understand okay this is how i need to perform this is this is my character and this is the skill that i this is the exercise that i did at the school and now it's helping me so yeah that's it i just wanted to add <laughs> thank you mansi you were to you so uh, paridhi has a question that she's put in chat and she wants to know if you always wanted to do theater or get into films and i'll just add a little bit to it so do you think ki matlab ki theater course hai aur acting aise seekh rahe hain but all of you have done a lot of screen work so um is it adaptable are the techniques something that you can apply in both places or how is it for you i think i think uh, for me honestly it's 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 not much of a difference uh, between theater and film i mean of course the uh, logical things are there like your volume your projection and you know things like that you're facing you know you have to stand in 45 half the times on stage because you all the audience members should be able to see you that's the basic in film it's not like that but apart from that i think the honesty of it and getting into a character and and performing 
uh, both those things, the truthful performance on stage, the also truthful performance on film, I feel. Uh, so I most definitely feel that uh, it's not it's not much of a difference as far as the uh, previous question is concerned. Yes, initially the thing was that okay, you know, I will go to I was doing theatre before that as well, but of course I thought that I wanted to train myself for films. I won't deny that, but I fell in love with theatre during that one year at DSM, and after that, for the longest time, I was just doing stage. I didn't even give auditions for the longest time because plays take a lot of time from uh, if you if you do like you know really high productions. You're opening at the Prithvi Festival and you're working 12, 14 hours a day. Uh, so you know those uh, during that that point of time, I did a lot of stage. And of course, if it wasn't for the pandemic, I would still be doing a lot of stage with film as well. Uh, so initially, the, the aim was that, but I would just uh, advise everyone that don't go in with that aim. That you know, I am just using this as a stepping stone to become a film actor. Uh, if you're doing stage at that point of time, you need to honestly dedicate yourself to stage training. Does anyone else want to add to this? At this stage, I have in my life, I think, a film, a web show, and a short film. And maybe 10 or 15 Nautic. I think it's a lot of difference. It's a lot of difference in film acting and stage acting. And the direction of film and direction in stage. Uh, uh, that doesn't mean you can't do both. You should do both. You should try both. You should realize that uh, मैं इसमें अच्छा नहीं हूं उसमें अच्छा हूं uh, अगर रियलाइजेशन आती तो अच्छी बात है मेरे को एक पॉइंट पे समझ आ गया था कि मैं थिएटर में एक्टिंग करना मेरे को शायद रोक देना चाहिए बिकॉज़ uh, मुझे फिल्म में एक्टिंग करने में ज्यादा मजा आ रहा था मेरे लिए अच्छा बुरे की बात नहीं थी मुझे मजा किस में आ रहा था मुझे फिल्म एक्टिंग करने मजा आ रहा था कैमरा क्ले करने मजा आ रहा था पर uh, डायरेक्शन में को अभी भी थिएटर में मजा आता है तो नाटक में अभी भी थिएटर में बनाता हूं uh, जबकि मेरे को किसी ने बोला कि आप ये ऐड डायरेक्ट कर लो मैं कहा नहीं मैं नहीं करूंगा मुझे आता नहीं मेरा मन नहीं है और ना ही मेरे को इंटरेस्ट है तो आई थिंक ये बात समझनी जरूरी है पर ये तभी समझ आएगी जब आप दोनों करेंगे तो uh, so कोई जरूरत नहीं है uh, बोलने की यार मैं ये करूंगा वो करूंगा दोनों ट्राई कर लो और गिव इट टाइम एंड यू फाइंड एन आंसर फॉर योरसेल्फ फॉर मी इट्स एंशियल बिकॉज़ दोनों का काम एक ही है वो है कहानियां बोलना तो मतलब मेरे लिए कुछ ज्यादा डिफरेंस है नहीं व्हेन यू एक्ट ऑन स्टेज एंड व्हेन यू डू इट ऑन कैमरा इट्स जस्ट दैट स्टेज पे तुम जब एक्टिंग करते हो तो तुम्हारा इतना रियाज हो जाता है बिकॉज़ यू लर्न टू बी इन द मोमेंट थिएटर में देयर आर नो रीटेक्स यू हैव टू कुछ हुआ तो जस्ट बी देयर बी ऑन टाइम एंड पिक थिंग्स अप कैमरा में तुम यू नो रीटेक ले सकते हो तुम थोड़ा कैजुअल हो सकते हो सो बाकी आई डोंट थिंक सो there is much of a difference like uh, theater mein yes you have to be a little bit loud because tumhara jo actions hai wo ekdam last tak pahunchna chahiye but mera ye manna hai ki if you can do it if you can tum khul ke kar sakte ho to tum chhota ho ke bhi kar sakte ho so the act of opening up tum theater se seekh sakte ho because it's easier to you know do it in a chhota apne aap ko daire mein dalna easy hota hai but agar tum apne aap ko khologe then you will know about the possibilities oh i can take it to this level which for me theater gave it to me ki oh okay mere ko aise sochne ki zarurat nahi hai main aise bhi kar sakti hu so for me it was that but i think uh, basic level pe dono same hai uh, is but uh, one thing that i would like to say is फिल्म इज अ डायरेक्टर्स मीडियम और तुमको लगता तुमने बहुत अच्छा किया है बट जब तुम एडिट के बाद देखते हो मैंने तो अच्छा किया था अब क्या हो गया ऐसे बहुत बार हुआ है बट थिएटर में तुमको तब का तब पता चल जाता है व्हाट यू आर डूइंग व्हाट व्हाट एवर यू थिंक यू आर डूइंग यू आर डूइंग दैट ओनली बिकॉज़ जैसे तुम करते हो वैसे ही ऑडियंस को समझ में आता है सो so, बस इतना ही मेजर डिफरेंस है और कुछ है नहीं मेरे लिए तो रियली देयर इज नो डिफरेंस um i feel that it's um you know for me i've always been a very open actor in terms of my body for example ki agar mujhe kuch uh, karna hai so it's always big bringing it making it smaller has always been a struggle so i feel like jab jab for example gulabo sita ko ho raha tha to mujhe shujit sir ne sabse pehle cheez aake boli thi less is more mujhe niketan ne bhi exactly ye bola tha jab main atrak kari thi ki uh, less is more so that is something that i'm still finding when i'm doing chuhal also i'm still so uh, 
I'm saying you need to understand the medium more. If I had a chance of learning film as an actor, I will do that. Because I think that I've done theater. I understand the drama school and perform on stage. But after that, I took it to the techniques of film. Maybe if I learn something about the film, I get something new that I can play on the camera. Pe khel sakti hun, jo mera, it's, it's really something I want to explore. So I feel you need to learn both. It, it, it is different in some way. To make it better, that's all. Thank you for answering that. Uh, we have another question from Lobsang. He says, um, how do you and can you consume extra media and extra information when you're doing such an extensive theater course? Like most of your time would be uh, dedicated to the course, but can you do something extra or consume other media? Sorry, consume as in, uh, does he mean watch or uh, practice? I think it's watching and learning from other sources. But Lobsang, if I am not correct, please put it in the chat box so that we can take it up. You can directly just unmute yourselves and clarify what you wanted to ask. Lobsang, you're there. Uh, hello, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. So I, yeah. I meant, uh, can you consume media in a sense? Can you watch, read others, like sort of media to like better yourself as an artist? Uh, okay. Uh, I I think you can, uh, but I couldn't. Drama school ka jo course was so extensive, so it was so much happening. I didn't have time to get up. I didn't have time to get up. I didn't have time to get up. Because there is already a lot of things that you have to do. And what you have to do. तो पहले अगर पर ये और भी लोग हैं जो बहुत जल्दी मास्टरी पार लेते हैं कुछ चीजों में और फिगर आउट कर लेते हैं और उनको समय मिल जाता है और वो कुछ नई चीज भी उठा लेते हैं समटाइम्स इट्स आल्सो गुड कि बहुत देर से आप कुछ कर रहे हैं एक एक प्रकार की चीज और फिर आपको रुकना है तो आप एक नई किताब उठा लो या कुछ एक नई चीज देख लो जो एक रिफ्रेश कर दे माइंड को तो ये बड़ी मोमेंट पे डिपेंड करने वाली बात है हो भी सकता है नहीं हो सकता है इसका कोई एक स्ट्रेट आंसर मेरे ख्याल में अगर मैं दूं भी तो झूठ होगा वो कि हाँ या ना वो नहीं हो मेरे को पता नहीं किसी और ने पढ़ा था या कुछ किया था ऐसे because we do have a DSM library and we do have a lot of resources but it's always yeah कुछ भी I used to manage that library मेरा literally मैं वो register maintain करती थी कौन book लेके जा रहा है कौन वो weekly task था मेरा कोई नहीं लेके जाता था मैं अकेली लेके जाती थी मेरे batch में but the thing is I am a generally a person who's fan of watching reading that is inherent in me like पता नहीं मैंने for me that is a part of my life जैसे हम खाना खाते हैं मैं वैसे कंटेंट कंज्यूम करती हूँ और अभी से नहीं बचपन से सो आई फॉर मी आई ऑलवेज मैनेज टू गेट टाइम मैंने कितने सारे शोस खत्म किए थे ड्रामा स्कूल के टाइम पे कितने सारे प्लेस पढ़े थे सो मैंने तो मैनेज किया बिकॉज़ फॉर मी आई कैन्ट स्लीप विदाउट वाचिंग और रीडिंग समथिंग सो इट वाज दैट इजी I think it really depends on how you are, you know. I think it really depends on 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 how you are as a person. Like for example, mm -hmm. I would the full day we would discuss acting and performance and work so much that when I wanted to go back home, I wanted to completely switch off from it, uh, because I knew that if I would start watching a movie right now, I would subconsciously start thinking of ये सही कर रहा है कि नहीं ये कैसे हो रहा है वैसे हो रहा है and that's still with me till today. Like if I want to unwind, I just watch some live sports or I do something else. Uh, but I don't really try consuming much stuff because then automatically my mind goes into into the work. Like I was a little bit like Srishti that you know for example like assignment one year to four baje utke karna hai usse. So I was obsessed with with getting it right, which in 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 hindsight I, I should have just you know relaxed a little bit more. But I don't think you will have uh, much time to to consume uh, uh, much much art from other than what you're doing. I mean you're supposed to even on your off day you're supposed to watch one play uh, as an assignment at drama school. Uh, Vivan, I think your voice is lagging a little. Am I bad? Yeah, but cut it. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. Uh, so Lobsang has also asked another question. He says, how do you care for or maintain your mental well-being during such a course? <laughs> 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 it's not going to be maintained, my friend. <laughs> you are screwed. No, no. See, I will tell you. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's basically the people around you who are going to keep you sane. I think because you are very sorry. There are too many questions that you're going to be asking yourself when you're in school. It's about your performance, of course. It's about uh, <clears throat> you as a person. That is constantly going to be questioned uh, because the number of things that we do in school. from the first minute from the time you start doing calorie or whatever whatever work physical body work you're doing so there's going to be a constant tang 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 going on here but i think when you have ek to reflection hota hai jo har hafte ya har jit pata nahi mujhe kab dena hota i forgot so you have to every two weeks ha so you have to write about what you felt in school <coughs> and submit it so that helps and second it's also the ensemble the people around you uh, they really uh, keep this in place i feel because i uh, every friday i remember every friday we used to go to roshan's house five or six of us sare nahi aa pate the kyunki sabka alag alag jeevan but five or six of us used to go to his house we used to chill we used to have some beer have chips unwind everything so we come back on monday feeling better so the, uh, it's it's tough but uh, your ensemble i think works it out a little bit for you <laughs> but you're screwed i remember i had gone to watch the tml of uh, lakshveer ke baad wala batch so if you you were the fifth batch then i went for the sixth fifth batch i guess and uh, tml ke baad usually hum jaate the uh, apne alumni se puchne kaisa laga humne theek kiya na humko sikha do thoda aise bolo aake bolte kaise kiya aap logo ne hum log se to nahi ho raha hamara paav dukh raha hamara ye dukh raha bhook lag rahi hai we are not able to do so basically what they wanted to know was how did uh, they were so tired and this was like they were in the fourth month of the drama school i was like bro abhi to bas shuru hua hai you don't know what's coming ahead of you so you know uh, all you have to do is this is just one year of your life like you will get tired but you are going to have the most fun also in this year only so i mean theek hai if tiring agar tired hona hai to ho jao but ye time wapas nahi aayega so make full use of it matlab uh, and mental well being matlab you have to learn to take things thoda you know uh, i remember uh, एक वो परफॉर्मेंस द परफॉर्मेंस दैट आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट सो मैं काफी ऐसे सैड हो गई थी व्हेन जेहान आस्ट अस टू स्टॉप एंड एवरीथिंग एंड मैं सैड हो गई थी बट इट वाज लाइक हां ठीक है ड्रामा स्कूल ओनली मतलब क्या कुछ स्टेक्स पे थोड़ी ना सो आदर्श आदर्श गौरव ही केम टू मी एंड ही वाज लाइक कैसा लग रहा है यार तुझे मतलब नहीं नहीं यार मैं ठीक हूं ऐसा कुछ बुरा बुरा नहीं लग रहा ही वाज लाइक बुरा लगना चाहिए तुझे तुझे बुरा लगना चाहिए क्यों नहीं लग रहा तुझे बुरा एंड आई वाज लाइक भाई चिल यू नो इट्स ओके आई डोंट नीड टू अदरवाइज पूरा दिन पूरी रातें खराब होती है यार एंड इट्स जस्ट अ परफॉर्मेंस आई मीन दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ समटाइम्स यू विल डू एक्सट्रीमली वेल समटाइम्स यू विल नॉट डू एक्सट्रीमली वेल लाइक लर्न टू प्रैक्टिस हाउ टू बी नॉट ओके विद योर परफॉर्मेंस आल्सो दैट्स आल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ एक्टर्स लाइफ So yeah, I mean it's a journey. So we also had a student counselor, and we would have like regular sessions with um, like group sessions and individual sessions. हाँ ये पुराने batches ना so new batches बहुत ग्रेट हैं सब हाँ हाँ हम लोगों के लिए नहीं था ये सब है हमारे batch के लिए था तो we also like for me my mental well being. Uh, it was great to have those conversations at regular periods so it's you're bringing uh, good processes like uh, this co- this course is evolving each year and each year we're trying to bring in systems that uh, we can we think are better for students well being and also help us you know uh, you know design this training in a better way for everyone so i think yes uh, the previous alumni they're going to be jealous of the new batches i'm very sure about that because even i am because the course that we did in 2017 the co- right now the what we have is completely different from that mm. so uh, i mean it's much more uh, improved there's so many elements that we've added to the course we have a student convener 
children on board. Uh, we have so many other things. We have a mental health practitioner. We also uh, do nutrition and um, you know uh, sessions with the students so that they can start eating well and take care of their health. So all these things have been brought into practice for all the students. So yes, so every year it's a continuous process. We keep improving. We keep evolving. Thanks, Ruthie, for making. Yeah, I, would, jealous, you know? I would just, I would just like to, I would just like to add, uh, options because I, I know we all have reacted a certain way to this question, and but in all fairness, it's a very important question, and you right, uh, like you rightly asked it. But I think in this is this is the moment when you have to put faith in the structure of the course, and you have to, uh, put, uh, faith in yourself that if you are surrendering to it, you'll find your way out. Uh, and as much as I have, I, of course, I was in the school a few years ago, and right, rightly pointed out by Shruti, the course is ever evolving. But in my time, uh, it was a pro conversation space. There was always scope for conversation. If you're ever feeling anything, there were people you could approach. And in general, uh, when you come from a school or college space, where in our society, the uh, in, the distance between the Faculty in the students is is quite high. मतलब काफी दूर होते हैं. बात करना मुश्किल होता है. Faculty में तरीके से देखा जाता है और पूरे school life में और college life में. Drama school में थोड़ा कम होता है. You can still approach the faculty uh, a little more. I don't know if personally is the right word, but uh, uh, there'll be there'll be more of a friend if uh, in at times if it's possible. uh i'm i'm really sorry i'm lacking the correct uh, vocabulary here but uh, i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so it it it's there in the course it it it'll be fine i mean even if, and of course you're going to go through points where uh, there there'll be breakdowns or whatever because you're in a world of art and ab isme hum kaam hi emotions ke sath karte hain so uh, ye to hona hi hai uh, but uh, uh, but trust yourself and trust the course right thank you lakshmi for mentioning that and yes uh, that is already there as part of the process so if there is anything that's bothering you or if if you want to discuss anything with the management of the school there is a simple process you have a course manager on board uh, you can reach out to that person and uh, definitely uh, if you have any concerns the school management will address those questions and it's it's a very open space it's, it's an open environment uh, it's not something that you have to struggle so hard to reach out to the faculty or reach out to the management to address your queries or something that's troubling you at the school or if you're not able to uh, you know understand anything that's being taught to you at the school so that process is already there uh, very quickly uh, just a heads up it's 5:20 here and we do have a lot of questions pending so i think we can just uh, like extend till 5:35 or 5:40 at the max mansi if you could just take up those questions that have been unanswered and then uh, if there are still more questions please reach out to us on on info at the drama school mumbai dot in i will also share my number and my course advices number on chat uh, you can call us from 10 am to 6 pm monday to saturday and uh, our team will be there to answer all your queries about the course about scholarships application process or anything and everything that you want to ask about uh, this particular program and the community the the world that you're trying to create and what are we trying to do with this um, uh, with the dsm intention and how we are trying to contribute Contribute to the society and uh, you know educate people and bring out this new generation, forge this new generation of actors and theatre makers. So yes, um, uh, this is there. Uh, Mansi, over to you. Just uh, take up those questions that have not been answered yet. So uh, Shishir had a question. Um, in this field, a salary is very irregular. So do you do something along with theatre to keep your boat afloat? And does DSM provide a perspective regarding the same? Basically, how do you survive as a freelancer? आह कोई भी जवाब नहीं दे रहा है सिर्फ आह ओके आई 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 गो आह शिशिर आह आह आई थिंक दिस इज दिस हैज अ लॉट टू डू विद योर बैकग्राउंड इज वेल कि आह आई केम फ्रॉम अ स्पेस ऑफ प्रिविलेज तो एक कहीं ना कहीं कॉन्फिडेंस था कि अगर कुछ एक साल या दो साल काम नहीं मिलेगा तो ऐसा नहीं है कि पैसे खत्म हो जाएंगे माँ बाप का सपोर्ट था तो ये ये बहुत मैटर करता है ऑफ कोर्स एंड एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड व्हेन आई से दिस दैट नॉट मेनी पीपल हैव दैट सो इट इट विल बी वेरी एलिट ऑफ मी टू से कि नहीं नहीं बिलीव इन योर क्राफ्ट एंड जब कोई अच्छा काम मिले तभी करो इट्स नॉट ट्रू यू वी ऑल हैव डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ फिगरिंग इट आउट एंड इट्स कंप्लीटली फाइन टू डू दैट 
मेंटल हेल्थ कनेक्ट हो जाती है पैसों से बहुत जल्दी और अगर मेंटल हेल्थ ठीक नहीं है तो आप अपने ऑडिशन पे ध्यान नहीं दोगे ऑडिशन पे ध्यान नहीं दोगे तो रोल नहीं मिलेगा ये सब कनेक्ट होता है तो मैं ये आइडिया ऑफ स्ट्रगल जो रोमांटिसाइज है ये मैं इससे एग्री नहीं करता हूँ यू हैव टू बी कम्फर्टेबल यू हैव टू बी रेडी यू हैव टू बी अवेलेबल एंड बी एट द बेस्ट ऑफ अबिलिटी एट ऑल टाइम तभी जाके क्रैक होंगी चीजें वरना नहीं होंगी तो वो कैसे होगा दैट वन नीड्स टू फिगर आउट और वो सबके अलग अलग तरीके हैं I can only go in detail with, with knowing the person. So if I know the person better, I can see that person. But as in, I can't do that. It's too much. Yeah, but I think I think you must you must have something on the side. I I firmly believe that, uh, especially in the pandemic times. Times like these, work is very slow. You know, generally it is very slow for people who are even a little little established or in the market. uh and that is just just business you know like at the end of the day it's it's you can it's for you it's an art but for a lot of people it's a business and when business is down then you have to look at other avenues also at that point of time you cannot depend on one audition to change your life that's not how it happens uh you know you have to do your best you have to have fun on the audition you have to perform and then after that you have to leave it and you have to focus on something else and you're not going to get paid to do the audition you get paid to get the job so till you don't get one job i think it's very important that that you try to find something and credit to drama school because they also introduced us to the concept of entrepreneurship and uh, theater making which which is 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 not just acting it's not a drama school is not just an acting school acting course it's a theater making course and during that point of time i would not understand why but now i do looking back because many times you have to create your own work if somebody else is not giving you work or maybe you know join a casting company for a while as a casting intern uh, a lot of the casting directors their brief is that they want to look for somebody who has a theater background because they are dealing with actors so of course if you are from drama school it only adds to to your your cv but uh, i definitely feel that till you don't feel that films or web series are are giving me money or or are a regular source of income you know till you don't sign like 3 4 projects in a year i genuinely feel you should do something else apart from that and like lakshveer said that's on you on what your strengths are and what you feel are you good with communication are you good with uh, you know uh, talking to people are you good with marketing that's for you to figure out uh but i definitely feel that you you should do two professions uh initially thank you ivan uh um, we have a question from aditya uh he is asking how can i get a break and work in the industry after doing theater how much theater is sufficient to become a polished actor uh and he's starting theater at the age of 26 years is it the right age or not I mean, every all this question is really subjective. I started theater like I had never done theater before coming to the drama school. Not even a single play, except from one school play. I had never been on stage, and there was something that said, you know what, Kuch Bhu, just go and try it, and oh, you know, let's see what happens. Was that one year sufficient? I don't know. I'm still figuring out. Uh, if is four years working in the industry sufficient? I don't know. I'm still figuring out. Like I don't think we will ever be ready. uh we still have days where i think um, i don't know anything so uh you are never really ready like you have to just take this step and believe in yourself and plunge according to me yeah oh uh, that's what i would say i just think all these questions keep coming to you when there is not much to do so mujhe lagta hai ki karna shuru karna padega ab chahe wo aapka agar aapko likhna hai to aap likhna shuru karo या अगर आपको एक्टिंग करना है तो अपना नंबर बांटो ऑडिशन कास्टिंग जगहों पे और ऑडिशंस देना शुरू करो सो इट्स एज नथिंग नथिंग एंड बिग ब्रेक नथिंग ऐसा कुछ एग्जिस्ट ही नहीं करता आप मेरे लिए ओ द ओनली आंसर इज मेहनत एंड रिसर्च कि क्या कहाँ चल रहा है और वहाँ पे जैसे मैं मैंने जब शुरू किया था मैं किसी को नहीं जानती थी तो मैंने नंबर मांग लिए थे मेरी एक एक्टर दोस्त से ऑडिशन uh, uh, मतलब जो ऑडिशन कंपनी कास्टिंग कंपनीज होते हैं 
और सबको अपना हेलो माय नेम सृष्टि अब मुझे ऑडिशन के लिए बुलाओ बस ये तो यू हैव टू जस्ट स्टार्ट डूइंग इफ यू आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन जो इफ वोट बी आंसर टिल यू आर इन आर इन इट एंड आर वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स इट तो वही है करो बस करो I I don't think any of these uh, questions. Uh, they are they are infinite answers to the questions. You know, like you will never feel sufficient. And plus, theater is a medium in itself. Like you know, I I I'm of the firm belief that you should not go to theater to make you a good actor and step into films. Theater is a medium in itself. Uh, you know, like the likes of of Mr. Nasiruddin Shah, who's who's probably one of the greatest actors ever, still practices theater and film at the same time. So I don't think that is uh, that's the that's the uh, A logical way of looking at it, going in the future. You know, before I used to think this as well, but once you get into it, like Srishti said, you have to figure out what's working for you and what's not working for you. If you don't enjoy one medium, you do another medium. But uh, theater is not. I don't think you should look at theater as sufficient or insufficient. It's a medium and it's. Thank you. Um, Pariti has another question. Uh, once you graduate from DSM, how's theater life in cities other than Mumbai? So, have any of you experienced? Theater. So after drama school, uh, I went back to Hyderabad. That's where I come from. Now, uh, was the standard of Hyderabad theater as Bombay standards like? Then the like the truthful answer is no. Like for me, it was very hard adjusting to the Hyderabad theater culture because over there, still like in Bombay, there were professional actors who were doing theater, trained from NSD, Lispa, Lecoq, and in uh, hyderabad there were like job like they used to come to rehearsal from like 5 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock in the morning and then they used to go and do their day jobs uh, that's how theater worked in hyderabad but uh, you know what uh, what i used to think at that time is it's so hard it's really hard uh, like this is not it's like i'm going to unlearn a lot of things but uh, after few like i was there for like 4 5 months then i decided you know this is this also means there's an opportunity for me like i can get the learnings that i have learned from the drama school to the to the theater of hyderabad maybe take a level may, maybe take the theater of hyderabad to another level uh, you know try bringing professionalism and things like that but then i came back to mumbai so i uh, couldn't really do that but i do intend to you know uh, go back to hyderabad and really you uh, perform there and there are I have few favorite places that I want to go and perform. So yeah, it's there in my bucket list things to do. But um, uh, the, so when once you come to Bombay, the theater level is really good over here. But I'm talking about Hyderabad. But I'm sure like in places like ba- ba- Bangalore, Delhi, the theater is really good. So you have to figure out for yourselves, I guess. Has anyone else experienced any theater in any other city? i have uh, done theater in delhi uh, i i started in delhi uh, and then after dsm i went back to delhi but delhi mein bhi itna alag alag prakar ka theater ho raha hai ki main aise nahi bol sakta ki delhi mein aisa theater hota hai waisa theater hota hai bahut alag alag theater pura bhi ho raha hai acha bhi ho raha hai theek bhi ho raha hai experimental bhi ho raha hai jahan maine kaam kiya tha was a group called search space collective uh, who are, uh, i mean they are doing a very they doing a decent job in terms of uh, sharing theater with new people uh, who have just graduated out of college uh, so it's a very young society uh, there's forever challenging the ways uh, in which theater is practiced uh, in delhi or in or elsewhere especially in metropolitan cities uh, so third space collective ek achhi jagah hai mere khayal mein uh, theater ko samajhne ke liye shuru karne ke liye uh, apart from third space collective there's also a place called um, uh, tadpole who are also equally doing very good competent uh, theater productions according to me abhi mera jo competent according to me jo competent ho kisi aur ke liye kuch alag ho sakta hai to ye main apne hisab se bol sakta hu third space collective or tadpole in delhi are two spaces that you might want to check out we have a question from nikki uh, how much did the course help you to develop a character including voice emotional life body language and thoughts of the character so specifically for character work how helpful was the course uh you, you will only understand eventually but like the course gives us too many techniques so you can pick uh 
for example, we did this character study exercise which Kushbu was talking about, and uh, we were given hundred questions. कि उसका नाम क्या है, उसके बहन कौन, उसकी बहन है, कहाँ काम करता है, क्या हाइट है, क्या एक स्पेसिफिक, उसकी व्हाट 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 बॉडी बॉडी पार्ट लीड्स, व्हाटेवर. So there are hundred questions, and you answer that question to build your character. But this is one way. Now there are twenty other ways to create a character, and drama school gives you those techniques. For example, I remember when we were doing Shakespeare with Rue, uh, I got a cat. I got Shylock. I had to play Shylock, and I was doing it in my own way. Uh, but then I we also had Poesie's classes simultaneously, and we were doing animal work. So I had cracked a very nice chicken in Poesie's class. Uh, so Rue was like, "Why don't you put it together?" And I found Shylock as a chicken. So his voice changed, his stance changed, and Shylock was a very interesting character in the form. So in the drama school, you will get a thousand techniques in the drama school. Like Neeraj Kabir Sir is different from Neeraj Kabir Sir. And then eventually when you are working in life on any character, you pick what works for you and you create the character. Or sometimes it becomes like that in the face of the character. It's not like that. ये करना पड़ता है समटाइम्स यू जस्ट नो इट इंस्टिंक्टिवली एंड यू हैव समथिंग सो या आई गेस यू हैव थाउजेंड थिंग्स यू पिक वन एंड यू क्रिएट समथिंग फॉर योर सेल्फ सो द लास्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव इज फ्रॉम तनमय ही इज आस्ट हाउ कैन वी इनहेंस आर स्किल व्हेन वी लर्न अ ड्रामा कोर्स तनमय वुड यू लाइक टू अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ एंड इलेबोरेट अ लिटल If you're still on call, okay. I don't think he's on call. Okay. Uh, so those were the questions we had. Uh, Shashank, all questions related to the course will be answered by Shruti. She will uh, get on a call with you and help you with the details and how it works. Right. Uh, so just before we close, I'm afraid it's already 5:43, and we need to just close the session now. Uh, first of all, I just want to extend my uh, gratitude and thanks to all the alumni, Srishti, Lakshmi, Krishu, and Vivan. Thank you for coming in and taking out time to uh, do this webinar. Thank you, Srishti. I see you dancing. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, it's lovely to see your faces. It's lovely to have you here every time and uh, just talk to these people who are also just as enthusiastic as you were when you were applying for the school. And thank you for answering all these queries. Um, we still have a few more questions, uh, but um, we have to close the session here. Just a quick. You know, just revive. Uh, I just want to just give an information to all of you. We are running this series every Wednesday. So this first webinar was about how training can help you, uh, you know, uh, for your career in theatre, acting and theatre making. But then the other follow the webinars that are going to uh, happen in the next week, uh, they are going to talk about the course. They are going to talk about the application process and how you can fund your course. How what are the alternative payment plans? So do tune in uh, every Wednesday. We are going to reach out to you through a registration form. There's a reg small registration process. Uh, it's important so we know that um, uh, you're going to attend the webinar. Uh, so yeah, so these webinars are there to help you out, answer all the queries you have about the program, about DSM and how we are running this entire program. If you have any other questions, uh, you can just reach out to us. I've shared my numbers, my course advisors and my numbers in the chat box. Just feel free to reach out to us on those numbers or write to us on the email ID info at the drama school Mumbai dot in, and we'll be happy to answer those queries. Thank you everyone. and. Uh, that's it. Thank you, Mansi, for moderating this session, and we will see you again soon. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.